Greetings, friends of God all over the world. I'm Minister Coleman, and welcome back to Christians Endeavor Ministry. Today, we're debuting our upcoming International Sunday School lesson dated for July the 21st, 2024. The topic of our lesson is Delightful Precepts, and we're taking our passage from Psalm 119 verses 73 through 80. Don't forget to check out the description box underneath the video where you will find the Bible link to the New Living Translation of our Bible story time today, as well as the link playlist for your worship with the word. Shall we go in? You made me. You created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me, just as you promised me your servant. Surround me with your tender mercies so I may live, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commandments. Let me be united with all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees. Then I will never be ashamed. Amen. Well, friends, our passage of scripture debuts three principal fundamentals in the life of a believer. They are prayer, which is communication with God, petitioning, which is making a plea to God, and praise, which is worship and revering God. In Psalm 119, we find a whopping 176 verses. Yeah, making it the longest chapter within the canon of scripture. In Psalm 19, we also observe sections of scripture, each uniquely containing eight verses, beginning and ascending with a letter of the 22 Hebrew alphabets, better known as acrostic poem. While the author of our passage today is unnamed, some theologians suspected to be David. You remember David, a man after God's own heart. From this base, the poet writes, as he meditates out loud about a perplexing experience he's either going through or has experienced. The poet expresses words of allegiance, reverence, and hope in God's righteous word and in God's just ways. In most of our verses today, you see or hear God's word being referred to or paralleled with such titles. Commandments, judgments, law, testimony, statutes, geez, precepts, and a sidebar on precepts. According to the Oxford Dictionary, precepts is described as a law, a regulation, a rule of action, or conduct one is required to follow, instruction, doctrine, guideline, an ordinance, canon, a decree, or an order. Are you still there? Because if it seems like I'm being redundant, I am. My point to this is, the origin, seed, or likeness of God's word and his law is all around us. We can't escape it. We can't fake it. We can't deny it. But we must follow it. 
Moving on as I draw a conclusion from the poetic writings of today's lesson. The writer of our passage appears to no doubt be experiencing a difficult situation. Who can't relate, huh? In fact, we can duly infer that he was a man with flaws, albeit willing to acknowledge his sins and maintain a repentant heart. The writer's story highlight these four points that we can all sympathize with and take away from today's story time. Number one, the awareness of human limitations. Number two, petitions of hope and expectancy on God. Number three, dependency and security in God's righteous word and in his perfect plans for us. Lastly, having a desire to be restored to and embraced by the right fellowship. This is the fellowship of like-minded, God-fearing believers. Amen. Well, friends, that is our lesson review for today. And I hope that it sparked personal reflections within you of the hope, joy, and comfort you have found in and for God's word. This is Minister Coleman. Until next time, have a delightful Sunday and a blessed week ahead.